Hey guys, welcome back to another My Hero Ultra Impact video. It's your boy Tokusa, and today we're gonna step away from the whole anniversary vibe, the celebration units. Oh, wait, that might be a lie. <laughs> I think tech is on my team. Disregard what I just said, but still, the main showcasing unit today is actually from Shiketsu High School, one of my favorite units. There are characters actually in the show that wasn't really a big part of it, but kind of made a good impression. And that is Inasa. This unit was a pain to pull. <laughs> if you've seen my other showcases, you see that I have a Seji on my team, Meat Lump Boy, and he is pretty starred up. He is SR plus because I pulled him every single summon I did, and this <laughs> is doesn't matter. I ended up getting Inasa. Very happy about it, and uh, yeah, very fun unit. Uh, he's got some good quirks to come along with him. He relies on speed, he's ecstatic when his HP is above 50%, which increases his speed, and I think his defense even goes even goes up. I'll actually take a look at him right now. There's a quick look what the team I'm going to run him on is. But yeah, uh, he came during the provisional license exam with uh, Bakugo and uh, Todoroki, and that's just like that little backstory of like how they were always rivals. So, you know, it's kind of cool because, you know, Todoroki is one of the top UA high students, right? And it's cool that there's somebody else out there that is, you know, on par with these big guys. At least the big three, or like the main characters of the show, you want to call them. So yeah, I always just thought he was very interesting. He's a little bit crazy. Aren't we all a little bit crazy? And yeah, he's got a really cool quirk with the wind. And yeah, just always was a fan. Anyways, that's enough mumble jumbling. I'll go over his kit quickly. Plus Ultra, Dance of the Storm. Deals 550% damage to a single opponent. Increases character's skill impact relative to speed. You want to build this character with speed, memories of speed, and then protect him. Because you want him to be above 50% health, as you'll see lower. Uh, medium chance of causing an opponent to bleed for three turns. You'll see in the showcase, at least I hope I apply it a few times here and there, that bleed plays a big part into damage. It actually ticks pretty freaking hard. And also gives all allies the ability to evade. This, <laughs> this is beautiful. Uh, not much to say on it. You'll see it throughout the events I do. It is very clutch. First action skill, Mountain Storm. So this is his single opponent attacking one for 400% damage. It increases his speed for three turns. So I like to do this before his other attacks. And gives himself dodge for one turn. Cooldown is only three turns. Very low cooldown. Very nice. You're basically getting your dodge all the time. Uh, second one, Dragon Whirlwind. 250% damage to all opponents. This is the action skill that I see hit. This this is where the bulk of his damage comes from. This AoE just keeps on just wind blasting these opponents. And it's great. When you build them up with support, crit rate around him, and uh, just the right memories, this hits hard. And I love it. And increases character's skill impact relative to speed. Once again, that speed is key. And low chance of all opponents to bleed. Beautiful. First action auto skill is heroic. Makes character static when HP is 50%. I did mention that. And increases character speed by 30% when it's static. Yes, that one is what I did mention. Uh, very good, obviously. You just want to keep him healthy, higher speed, higher damage. And you attack first. So great. Second auto skill, honest heart. When character is a static, increases character's defense by 25% and increases character's chance of causing bleeding. So all those low chances of bleeding, forget that, throw it out the window. It's basically medium, 45-50% chance, whatever it may be. Uh, it's wonderful. It, it's it's something that is definitely underrated, I think, out of this character's kit. It's It just ticks great damage every time the opponent hits you. It's like an extra little like kick that you get to do them. Uh, there's my EX auto skills if you're interested. Uh, regarding ability board, uh, pretty good here. Slowly building up towards it. Got nothing else left in the tank here, but that'll be nice for a little bit more defense and obviously 10 more levels. But yeah, all in all, pretty good there. And of course, on the basic route, as you probably saw by that completed sign, and as you see on the screen right now, all 13 boards done. I have been spamming my, my gems, just all the stamina for those five time stories events. I can't emphasize it enough. I'm going to tell you again for the 400th time, use it towards that. That is what you want to do. Get all the characters you love. All the characters you like to use, all the characters you find useful for VE Tower, PvP even. Get them up now. Because Storm's coming, I'm telling you. Ah, Storm, he knows <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, th there's going to be new boards. I'm telling you, I don't know when, but when they implement new story into this game, there will be new ones. Anyways, enough talking. 
Uh, going to throw them through VE Tower, some, uh, the Ultra event again, a new Celebrations event going on for the anniversary, PvP as usual, and maybe a US chair story. I don't know. I'll make it up as I go into the showcases. Further ado, let's jump in. Alright guys, first event I wanted to take Inasa in into is USJ against All Might. Type advantage, just gonna be a beatdown. Who doesn't enjoy that? Uh, and yeah, let's just hop right into it. Um, so the memory I'm using on Inasa actually is the new SR memory. Ooh, 7Ks across the board. It's so satisfying to watch. 14K normals, yeah, All Might ain't got no shot. Uh, is the new SR memory. Uh, I'll, I'll show it in the next before the next fight, so you guys have an idea which one it is. But it's it's got like Aizawa and like Tokoyami, Bakugo, and I think Todoroki running in the back or something. Uh, basically, your when your HP is above fifty percent health, which is what you want Inasa to be, so you get your your e static, you get your defense, you get your speed. Uh, it gives extra power and speed on top. And mine's DX, so it's forty percent power and thirty percent speed. And when I go below 50% health, it heals me two times for 20% health. So, helps me stay above. And then Celebration Deku is just to make sure I never, ever fall below. So I can do 40,000 hits. Okay. Alright, Seji, calm down there. I'm talking about Inasa, not you. But all those 12k hit marks there for critting. Ah, it is the most satisfying thing. Uh, next time I get there with my action skill, I'm going to pay attention to his health. Because I never have noticed how many times that actually hits. I just, I get mesmerized every time I see it. And I never actually pay attention. But I'm sure we could just look at the health and do the math. Well, I ain't gonna do the math here. It'd be the worst, dumbest moment in history of me trying to figure out how many times it hit. So, ignore that part. Oh, I think I hopefully have the plus ultra animations on. Because Inasa actually has a really nice plus ultra. I'm a big fan. I find, honestly, <laughs> the non like impact fest or celebrations really have plain ones tornado straight in the air basic kamehameha wind blast him out into the sun super clean all right seji man this man is so annoying just meat lump but he's just so good and now everybody also has dodge right now that's a really good thing that inasa's plus ultra does which is super good and inasa just got hit you think his dodge is gone as soon as i activate this remember mountain storm Increases my speed and gives my character the ability to evade. So, you really can't touch Inasa whatsoever, which is just great. Right. I forgot to look at his health, but it didn't matter, didn't crit. Good. <laughs> 70 k Man, you do so much damage in these events. Uh, I'm just gonna normal attack here, because Inasa does not have... Ooh, see? Oh, he's hitting Deku. He thinks he's gonna hurt him. That's funny. Dodge, baby. What the heck? Uh, did he get hit? <laughs> did I miss something? Uh, yeah, he doesn't got dodge. That's funny. Never mind. <laughs> Forget what I just said. Uh, but yeah, this should be a very satisfying turn for Inasa, of course. So he's got 244k health. Hopefully we crit all the time here so we get a good idea of what this is like. Uh, what does this plus ultra do here? Oh, composure. And yeah, let's just pay attention. Hopefully we crit here a bunch. Hopefully I know how to click. And I actually just lost all the crit right there. So, that was the biggest fail right there. Hopefully we'll show it off in the next one. But even then, it went 244 to 155, so 90k, 89k or something like that. Pretty good damage without critting. Uh, you know, if you don't have problems like I do with getting, you know, <laughs> chain attacks, which is like the easiest thing apparently. But not for me, it's the complete opposite. You're going to do a lot of crits, a lot more attacks. And yeah. Very smooth. Obviously, if you have any sort of type advantage in these events, you're going to crush it. But Inasa looked very impressive there, giving the team dodge, himself dodge all the time. Damage builds up, ramps up because of raising speed with some of the action skills. Great unit. So, the next event we're hopping into is the Ultra Boss difficulty uh, event in this new Celebrations Anniversary event, a Supreme Party. Uh, main reason I'm showing this page is so I can show off the equipments that I'm actually using on Inasa. So, uh, the SR memory is actually called Persistent Tenacity. Definitely knew that. And I already explained it, so I'll let you just read it here. But above 50% health, power speed, under 50% health heal. There's my EX auto skill. Pretty nice for DST. And yeah, let's just hop right in. Uh, this guy's got a lot more defense than USJ. I feel like this is more proper. To like the damage output you'll see from a character. 
usually, if I, like, continuing forward with showcases, I like to show units with only, like, one copy. No, like, extra dupes with that extra little bit of power. Just for more, you know, accurate representation to what the community has, right? You want to pull your favorite character, you don't want to chase for, like, seven dupes, unless it's your... Yeah, unless you're... You're like me, and you go... When it's your favorite character, you go all in. But majority of the people only ever need one copy of the character and that's why i like to showcase it like that sorry i can't i have to like super focus in for these chain attacks because you've seen all my showcases i don't think there's a single video out there where i go the entire way perfectly doing all three chains i don't know why it's impossible for me but it just is oh a 47 case oh and here we go i did get the bleed so currently he's meat, so we're not going to see it here. But Deku's going to attack here, and you're going to see the bleed come off. And it is... It, it it ticks for a lot. I'm telling you, it is a lot of damage. An array of plus ultras here. We've seen Deku's before, so I'm going to skip it. 22k. Did it bleed there? God, man, I wasn't even looking. <laughs> Enos's plus ultra, once again. Love it. Big tornado splash, and then Kamehameha out of existence. Seji with the most... Insane badass animation I've ever seen there. Great. Unreal. Celebration Deku. 999. He's boosted this event. See that? Oh, I, uh, that one normal he just did to me hit me for nothing while he got ticked for 30k damage. That bleed, I'm telling you, and it lasts for a few turns. That, it does crazy damage. Such a nice little quirk, I guess. I, I just keep calling it quirks, but like. Piece to uh, Inos is a like kit. That bleed really does. It's really effective. We're probably gonna see it here again. Yeah, double kick, double six thirty k. He hurt himself for sixty k for just hitting me. I don't know, man. It adds up. It adds up. Uh, hmm. Is he gonna die here? Probably. Oh no, he's not bleeding anymore, so he should be okay. I'll just do this to build up crit rate. Oh my goodness, everybody. I might make it through this fight, not missing a single skill chain. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Fight's not over. <laughs> Maybe I should just plus ultra to be safe. Uh, we'll go Seji Inasa. Oh, Seji might kill, actually. We'll go Inasa first, just to play it safe. Oh, man. I swear I didn't plan that. Fuck up. Anyways, forget it. Got through it. As you can see, Inasa, he's just, he's just so cool. I love his animations. His outfit looks sweet. And yeah, this team here, if you could run something like this, a disrupting unit like Seji and then a healing supporting unit like Deku, you will you'll be totally fine. Inasa is more than capable. And yeah, on to the next. Next up is VE Tower. We are taking on SS Difficulty Speed Stage Hawks. Mainly reason, you can see it right on the screen. MND yellow, so you know Inasa and Seji are just gonna slap him right, left, and center. Them feathers ain't doing crap all when I just blow him around in tornadoes and meat. Meat? That, that sounds weird as hell. Anyways, we're hopping right in. Should have the team already set up, which is good. Wonderful. Also, this UR memory I have on Seji is definitely not optimal. It benefits UA high school students. I, it's just there for the support capabilities to give my team crit. Alright. So this should be a breeze, but should be fun. Uh, always do this first. You just get speed increase. Increases your damage overall. And yeah, let's just keep going. I think... I mean, there's so many quirk abilities out there. But I think if I was to choose a quirk from out of everybody I see here, other than one for all, right? Uh, I think... I don't know. There's a lot of them. I really like total real piece. But... I think wind. I feel like having that power would be so cool. I just feel like it's overpowered. Uh, yep. So Inos has got dodge right here, which is really good. This healing is pointless, but I'm just trying to 57 or 5700 across the the board. And we would have seen some bleed, but Seji decided to turn him into a sack of meat. So scratch that. And plus ultras. I think Inos still has dodge. Who's he attacking? Hit Inos. Ah. That could gonna take a little bit of damage there. But he's gonna he just dished 30k damage to me and took 31 back. Get Kamehameha for 100 k and bleed, please. Seji with the most insane animation I've ever seen. But 82k and meat lump through two turns. Yeah, this fight's over. This team's too strong. Should've used the weaker team. Uh 70k. Oh man. This is the shortest fight ever. 
Hawks is just gonna sit there. And yeah, this is probably gonna be it right here, right? 16k, 114k, no crits there. 114k to 73k. And 40k of damage while he's now got more bleed stacked on. It, it doesn't like the damage doesn't multitude, but I think the turns reset for the amount of bleed he gets hit for. So that's pretty sweet. And I missed again, but whatever. He's not gonna make it through out of here. Even that, right there. All he did is apply. He applied dodge on himself. Got punished horribly for it. And then he goes to attack Inasa. Inasa dodged. What happened when he attacked Inasa? Uh, his bleeding took him out. That bleed. That bleed ticks for a lot. I'm telling you, it it makes a big difference. And it's definitely underrated in his kit. Do not do not underestimate that. That does damage. And it, it catches a lot of people, or I guess the NPCs often surprised. But yeah, we got our crits there. Technical hits would have been a bit better if I just, or my chains would have been a bit better if I just hit the last few there. 3,800 points with not an optimal team. Deku can be replaced with somebody else that gives you a lot more points, like Fantasy Ochako, just off the top of my head for points. And Seji, of course, but still pretty good. Definitely can give you a pretty good score, and obviously with the dodging and speed and everything. If you're having trouble getting through some DE Tower events and you have Inasa and you're wondering to level them up, should be a pretty good indication if you should or not, because I definitely would. All right, guys, last but certainly not least is PvP. Uh, so here's the thing. I have one energy left. I'm not going to refresh stamina. This is probably a horrible idea because even though Inasa is great, uh, he's definitely not in the like, top end of meta for PvP. And I am top four. This is the highest I've ever been ranked. And I think Legends is only a couple ranks away. So, uh, I'm risking it here a little bit, bringing in Inasa. I definitely think he is good enough to be on a team. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like he plays the supporting role really well. Like, if you use him to keep your team from getting hit, instead of, like, making him the headlining main damage unit, which is what I'm doing, I think he's more than usable up here. We are faster, so that's really good. That's a really good start to this. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I've seen, I've seen other bu Oh, what the heck? I must be fighting the- <laughs> Oh my god, bro, I'm fighting a bunch of R's. Do I even want to include this footage? Yeah, you know what? Watch this. You know what? Top four. Why do you bring in Inasa? This is why you bring in Inasa. He is just- he's too good. He oh, to oh, you're not- you, you done messed up. You done messed up, other Todoroki. You see all them crit hits, though? That AoE wipeout. That is what Inasa is here for. He is meant to do that. Take out the entire team. Clearly, this is exactly what happens at the top end of PvP ranks and Legend rank and top or whatever I'm in right now. You just get Inasa and you wipe out everybody in one shot. That's exactly how it goes. No, no, no. Being real, obviously, I just fought like a jokes around team or something. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. uh, Pretty good. Let me see. That guy has like 142k power. Bro, who is that? Yeah, I, I fought that guy too earlier. We're in a secret battle. Yeah, I didn't go too well. Bro, I fought him twice! What the heck? Man, oh crap, I didn't win. Uh, yeah. Good unit, obviously, though. Uh, has high capabilities to fit on a team. It's just, you have to build him more. Give him dodge. Give him ways to, like, avoid getting hit. So he can give my, your team dodge and everything. Uh, still a very good unit. And there you guys go! That was the showcase on Inasa. Uh... I, one of my favorite characters. I just love his design. So cool. I think, honestly, I think his outfit. At first, I didn't think it really went with the whole, like, controlling the the wind. But now I see it, and the more you look at it, the more I, I just love it. I think it looks cool. He looks sick. Definitely made a good impression to me. Enough for me to summon for him. And, yeah. Hopefully there's more for him to come in the show. But, let me know in your thoughts and opinions on him. Did you get him? Did you upgrade him? Do you think he's worth investing into? I personally do. I just think he has he provides a lot to the table. And if you aren't somebody that has every single fantasy character and this new celebrations character, and you're wondering can he fit on the team to fill in that like fourth, fifth slot, or even like your main rotation, I say heck yeah. I think he is more than capable of them, capable of that. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the showcases. Uh, leave your comments uh, below if you want to see anything different. If you want to have a certain character showcase. 
SRs, URs, you name it. I might not have them all, because I definitely don't have a lot of units, but... Uh, yeah, just let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, but yeah, thanks for guys tuning in. If you have a second, like and subscribe. appreciate it very much. If not, I'm just happy you guys tuned into the video. It means the world to me, and we can only keep growing. Uh, that being said, see you guys later. Tokusa, out.